Good evening. Bill number three down here in East Tobacco Fields, Carolinas. Just got this little antenna right here. Pretty good deal. 90 bucks ship. Trying to get rid of that hash and trash from that old uh, IMAX 2000. That thing's about 20 years old now, I guess. I don't know. And I'm wanting to replace it with something I thought I didn't want to have to put a lot of money in it, so I'd try this. Old Tornado. The new Tornado. And, uh... with the MFJ on channel 20 if y'all got one of these MFJs y'all know they're touchy on channel 20 1.0 and up on 40 1 to 1 and on up above 40 it's not too bad. A little up above 40, a few channels up. It's not too bad. But here's where I'm having a problem down around 1. It's about a 1.3. I'm going to try to tune it in a little bit finer with the bird. And as you can see, five watts. So 5 watt slug in reverse channel 20 See a mismatch up. Uh, well, I see it should be the same on 40 as one, and you can definitely tell it when you turn your amp on. All right, channel 20. This output of the amp. Five watt in reverse. Oh, not even a watt. Well, yeah, not even a watt. Let's see five. Yeah. All right. Try channel forty. Oh. 
Hold it. Hold it. A little level of watt reflect. And right here is where it gets pretty bad. Hold it. Wanna try them relays. Hold it. So I got a little left tuning left to do. I'll move it out about an inch tomorrow and see how it works. But that's tuning one with a bird and an MFJ. So everybody thinks the MFJ gets it right on the dot. <laughs> I don't know. I think a bird's a little bit more accurate to me. I don't know if you got any comments let me know any help let me know if I'm doing something wrong let me know be on number three down here in the Carolinas later